I haven't sent Christmas cards in a while, and I decided this year I shall. We went over the Christmas tree cards in the previous video, and this time we are going to complete the Waxed Santa. My name is Peg, and I call my channel Two Old Crows Mixed Media. That's me and my husband. And I try to create videos to share while I learn. Please take a moment if you like what I'm doing and subscribe. And of course, the comments and thumbs up help the channel and the notification bell lets you know when I upload additional content. So to get this card started, I am measuring the envelope that we will be putting the, the card in. And it's about six and a half inches in width and about three and a quarter, three and a half inches in, in uh, height. So I have decided that six inches by six inches scored at three inches will create a, a nice size card. The back of these envelopes that I have in stock have a self-adhesive on them. And the adhesive has bled through and created this nasty looking mark. So about a half inch piece of paper will cover that. So I just took and cut my white cardstock sit six inches by six inches, scored it by three, and it's going to fit nice in that envelope. Now I'm trying to determine what I need to create a window for Santa. So I'm going to cut a piece that is smaller and will nestle in that inside front cover nicely. So I am trimming it down about a quarter of inch on each side. I will tape that into my card and choose a thin lit die that will be the appropriate size to allow Santa to peek through. And you will see him on both sides. When you look at the front, you will see him. And when you open the envelope or the card, you shall see him. So let's just get these ready to go over to the big shop and we'll run that through. And that gives us a little window to let our Santa peer through. Plus we have these nice little pieces left over that we might use. We may have something else to do with them. The Santa images were pulled off of the public domain. I just searched for vintage Santa. So now we will get those ready by Pulling out the parchment paper, a grater, and a candle, and we are going to grate that wax over the top of our images. Now this candle was a colored candle, and I kind of embraced the color of that wax into the waxing of this. I removed the big pieces and just kind of left some of that. Um, I thought it would give more of a vintage look. So I'm just going to cover it with a second piece of parchment paper and iron over the top. Now the iron is no steam. I have the cutting board down to protect my mat underneath. I'm just scraping the wax on top of the image, sandwiching it in between two pieces of parchment paper and giving it a good iron with a hot iron to melt that candle wax. And you can kind of see the wax melt and spread as you're ironing. So there is our completed and you can see my hand through that and you can see just how transparent that becomes. Let's just give it one more to make sure that wax is good and melted. And now we'll cut it to fit within our little window. So let's just give it a trim. And now we'll set that aside and I'm going to pull out some of these stencils that I received from my friends at PM Artist Studio. They make their own stencils. They're very nice and I haven't used them as yet. So I'm going to pull them out and just 
embrace them and inaugurate them in this Christmas card. So pulling in some antique gold paint and we'll take one of those stencils, lay it onto the gel press, and then I am going to cover it or mark make it with that big lid. And there is that nice gold color on the front of that card. And I believe I used wonky windows And there we go. And I'll put a link for PM Artist Studios stencils in my description below. And I'm just going to continue with this antique gold and now add just a bit of that Christmas red. And we'll pull out one more of those stencils and create a little bit of red for the frame of that Santa on the inside. So I like that. We'll clean the press off and just repeat and get everything printed up so we can insert our Santa. I am going around the inside of that frame to cover up the white with, I'm just utilizing a black ink, kind of like the black, I think it adds some depth to the piece, or to the card. And I'm, while I have it out, I'm going to go around the outside edges of the card itself and just get every fold inked up. And that will lay very nicely right there inside. I want to add some gold outline around that window. So I pulled in my embossing pen and I'm just gonna randomly draw a messy outline around that window. Cover it with a mirror gold embossing powder. Heat that up with my heat gun and just create a little bit of a detail around the outside of that window. Here we go. And now he will lay nicely. This will lay nicely on top of our Santa. So that's just mark that where we need to cut it down. And I'm just roughly cutting. Of course, we'll need to make it a little bit smaller so it doesn't peek out, but we want to get it glued to our card. Just trim it a bit, add some glitter glue, position it so that it looks nice on the front of the card. And then when we open that up, we will cover with the back side. I'm just going to trim that down a bit. Cover with the piece that we made to fit inside the card. And there we go. So by waxing, you can see the image on the outside of the card. And then when you open it up, you see the reverse of the image. With what was cut from the center or what we cut out, die cut out of that frame that we made for the Santa, I'm just adding some gold around the outside edges of that. 
and I'll stamp the greeting for the inside of the card on this little piece and we'll glue it then inside the card. So I wanted it to have a little gold definition and I thought the embossing powder would do that nicely. We'll lay very nice inside that card. So let's decide on our greeting. I'm going to just distress it a bit with some vintage photo to give it more of that distress look. And I'm just going to put a simple Merry Christmas. So I'm going to stamp that right on the bottom of that card. And now we'll glue it to the inside. I'm going to lay it over the top of my Santa so that I get the position right. Glue it and then just fold that closed. And then I have it just perfectly positioned on the inside of the card. And I think I want to add a little bit of embossing or stamping right here on the front of the card as well, underneath the Santa. And then I've just chosen some dots. And we'll put the embossing powder on that. <clears throat> and what I did realize after I had done this, that it's best to do this before you wax and <laughs> embed the Santa, because that heat tool will begin to wax your or will begin to melt your candle wax again. So just in, in the future cards I made, I did that before I installed Santa. And now to finish up the envelope, I'm just cutting a piece of the catch paper that I've been using to clean my brayer with some crimson red on it. And I'll just glue a little piece to cover that messed up adhesive. We'll just ink around it and glue it down. And there, I've utilized the envelopes that I have in stock. I've covered where that adhesive had come apart so it, it doesn't show or where that adhesive had bled through on that envelope lid. We'll put just a little greening on the outside of this card. And there you have the finished Christmas card. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp the rest of these envelopes. And I <clears throat> decided to add just a little bit of messy red on them as well. So here are my finished cards. I created four and put just a little red distressing on the envelope. You can see Santa on the front and when you open that wax Santa shows through on the inside. So I'm happy with the way this card turns out. I hope you like it as well. And this is the final version. You have your Merry Christmas greeting on the inside. We created four, or I created four of these. And I think they will make a nice greeting card. The next ornament or the next card that I will be doing is the ornament card. So watch for that video. Thank you very much for joining me. I hope you'll take a moment and subscribe to my channel and I've put a playlist that I think you might enjoy on this final card as well. Bye for now.